Hey guys, I wanted to make an update video on how easy it is to tamper with Modern Masters 2015. There are various videos online right now with people trying to do it. And I saw a video, which is probably the most scary video. A guy takes a knife and all he does is has a knife. He goes on the side and he cuts the middle. Now, I don't want to duplicate that video just because I don't feel like that would be good for me to teach you guys how to do it. If you are interested in it, it's not particularly hard to find those videos. Um, it's appalling to me now that the dust has settled. I have my own packs. I've looked at them. I've tested them. And it is extremely easy to with a hot glue gun. So the technique the other guy was doing was not really. I mean, it just shows how simple it is to tamper with the booster packs. But a hot glue gun can heat the glue. So the glue is nothing special. I opened a pack to examine the glue. The glue is nothing special. You can buy at Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, but you don't even need to rebuy it. What you would need to do is you would need to heat the pack up and then open it and then after the pack is cooled down a little bit, put the cards you want to put in the pack, take the cards, take the Tamagorfa out, put, you know, the uh, really bad cards in and press it and then heat it. And there you go. I am um, again, I don't want to make a video about this because it's actually kind of scary and I don't want to promote this. I really don't want to promote it. I just want to bring awareness that this is an issue. And you have to understand it's such a, it's a huge issue because Wizards of the Coast has made a response. So the whole counterfeit saga wizard of the coast didn't respond until six months later pretty much you know that was their response time for them to respond so quickly just indicates that there is a huge issue here and they recognize it and anyone with a modern masters booster pack you can take you can simply take a knife run it down the one side, cut the middle of it, and then reseal it. And if you've never seen a modern, so people will say, oh, well, you know, I have modern master packs, I'm an expert. But the problem is most of these packs are going to be sold to casual players, like these loose packs. Um, they're going to be sold at local game stores to casual players. They're going to be sold on eBay to casual players. Casual players are not going to really know the difference. It's the same with counterfeits. Everyone kept saying, oh, well, I'm an expert, certified expert in vintage magic cards. No, no, that doesn't make any sense because like, yes, you might be able to catch it, but the problem is other people are not. And I can tell you, having experimented with it, it's impossible to catch it if you don't know how. First of all, you don't actually know how Modern Masters packs are sealed to begin with because the packing, the packaging is different. And secondly, most casual players are not going to care or know that this is an issue. So in short, this is very bad news.